Love you, see you soon. It is 6.34, baby, three-year-old, six-year-old. I don't know what's going on. The house is destroyed. I need to cook dinner. Sam won't be back for a few hours. She's got a little girl's thing, so I'm taking in charge. We're running this ship. Let's go. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to cut a watermelon. What we have is children's silverware. Oh, and we got this thing. Put your baby here. Right out the plug. See, it's good. Girls, what do you want for dinner? If you have three kids, it's never too late for an energy drink. It's almost seven o'clock. Ellie, you okay? The goal is, is I'm gonna take all of this watermelon out and put it in this bowl and then put it in a Ziploc bag and then put it in the fridge. That's probably the right thing to do, right? So if you're new and you don't know who I am, my name is Joey. I have been a stay-at-home dad for uh, a couple years now. And my wife was working full-time at the hospital but not so much anymore. So she works one to two days a week. And so she does hospital part-time and she does content creating as well. Videos like this is kind of like right up my alley. This was kind of like the foundation of everything. It's like the stay at home dad, dad videos, like, you know, getting food prepared, you know, clean, you know, all, this, all the things, y'all know. What's the matter? I need some help making the bow around her so first high pressured moment, my daughter wants her American Girl doll situated. What the? Dad, I need something. Dad, oh, okay. I need something. Perfect. All she needs is a little bow on the back. I can do that. I got you. I got you. Here you go. Here you go. Let's go. So you know how there's that other fruit, melons, and it's green? Like how come? This was has to be called watermelon, but the other one is just called a melon. Am I crazy? Like, is the other one got a different name? So I love this for me. We only have the small Ziploc bags and like 40 pounds of watermelon. So we'll be filling in all these. Yes? Can you please put this on my baby girl? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I still don't know what's happening for dinner. So we need shoes on the American Girl doll. Oh my God, I don't think these are supposed to go on her. Yeah. Little Joey needs to top off. He can eat watermelon all day long. My three-year-old has requested Kool-Aid Jammers, grape flavored. I mean, I'm at the point now, I'm not trying to battle or pick my battles. The kids just get whatever they wanted. And also in case you're wondering, usually Sam and I, like she'll get one night, I'll get one night. Like she'll go out with her friends one night, I'll go out with my friends one night. And it's usually for a few hours. And I think that's important for like, you know, a good, healthy situation is like getting a few hours to yourself. Not like 20 minutes running to go get food at the grocery store or anything like that. Like get fun time or like just whatever. So she gets her one night, I get one night and that's just how it goes. Okay, so here's the situation. Since we're running out of coffee, I always think ahead of time, like this isn't gonna be enough coffee for me in the morning. So I usually just grab a clean cup, I pour my, coffee that I want to drink in the morning and then we'll start brewing it and I'll show you what I do afterwards. But I usually keep my coffee in the fridge. It is uh, 6 45. I keep my coffee in the fridge. Don't ask me why. I just saw a video several years ago and it was one of those cases where I saw it on the internet and I believed it. And to make good coffee you're going to want to put the filter in the little cartridge thing and put it right here. And the nice thing I like about doing like the homemade coffee is I'm not at the mercy of those K-cups, right? Like I can make my coffee as strong as I want. The K-cups, you only get what they give you. And I just put like whatever looks good. And then, and then I like do a little this. And I got my pot of coffee, swirled around a quick clean. Ellie, you okay? Put it down here. You gotta make sure to shut the lid. If you want good coffee, you gotta shut the lid. You gotta turn off your little mosquito zapper because we're running out of plugs. And then you turn it on and we're just gonna set that right there. Okay, so since it's almost seven o'clock at night, I think for dinner for the kids, we're gonna do dino nuggets and hot dogs. I was able to do a buy one, get one on these Oscar Mayer wieners. If you're like, Joey, this can't be good for the kids. Well, not to worry. It says 100% tasty and it's fully cooked. So we just gotta put it in the microwave for a few seconds. All right, we're running out of space over here. Just need to grab a plate. I don't know 
know if babies can have hot dogs yet. Maybe if I cut them good. We're just going to do three hot dogs for my six-year-old and three-year-old. So I think three hot dogs is like a minute and a half. But I got one of those microwaves where it either tells me one minute, two minutes. Isn't that annoying when you have a microwave where it either goes by the minutes? So we're going to do two minutes and keep an eye on it. The little Joey has had like 16 pieces of watermelon. Might as well be more. Okay. So much. And in case you're wondering, look at all these bags of watermelon I got. You know how to turn on the TV? <clears throat> Quick check on these hot dogs. All right, they need to cook some more. They're only at like mid-rare. Let's grab some of these dino nuggets. I bought some fish sharks for the kids. They don't like them. They're the only kids I've ever met that don't like fish sticks. So we're gonna take a chance on these fun nuggets by Tyson. So we'll see. You know those nuggets. <laughs> My six-year-old's like, you know those nuggets. I know. So I like saying I'll take a chance on anything. So I gave a little Joey one. We'll cut it into little pieces. I don't know how he's gonna be hungry after all the watermelon. We're actually gonna do all of them because I might have some too. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And let's take out these hot dogs. Put these up here. And we're going to put like 12, 13 dino nuggets in there for three minutes or so. All right. Okay, so the countertop is a hot mess. Just need the kids to eat, then we're going to do bath time. Or they're getting a wipe down. And sometimes I feel like I work at Geek Squad. These kids are always having electronic issues. There you go, honey. There you go. Why is the internet not working? We have a level five emergency. The internet's not working for some reason. It's seven o'clock. I don't know what the hell's going on. Let's cut up these hot dogs just as little as possible, right? I'll take a lot. Mm. The packaging was right. It is 100% tasty. All right, press it again. Quick check on the coffee, looking good. I don't trust the hot dogs and the chicken for the baby. So we're just gonna do some macaroni and cheese. A lot of people are like, Joey, do you get overstimulated or overwhelmed? I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know, when you get the three kids and, I don't know, you just kind of, this is just the norm. There we go, we are good. I feel like this whole vlog so far has just been me in the kitchen. The goal to making cup macaroni and cheese is this little fill line. You just fill the water to the line, I'll show you what to do next. This is another one of those situations where the directions say three and a half minutes, but the microwave goes from three to four minutes. Chicken's looking good, so we're going to put it in for... Three minutes because it's for the baby. I don't want to be too hot. Chicken's done. But for my six year old, she's going to get five dino nuggets, some hot dog, and one of these little chocolate cupcakes that we got from the store yesterday. She's going to be so happy. So this is for my six year old, and I'll eat one for good luck. Dinner's ready. Come and get it. You say thank you. Hi, Dad. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> She's like, I don't like hot dogs. Just, just eat something. So little Joey's on his 50th piece of watermelon while I cook his macaroni and cheese. I'm having some of these dino nuggets for dinner with this garlic parmesan buffalo wild wing sauce. Am I the only one that likes to stand up while eating? I mean, it's not like I like you, but I know if I just sit down, I'll just have to get up because you got three kids. We just crossed over to the 701 hour. Sam won't be home for a few hours or so, which is fine. She can take her time. I got it. So the trick to cooling down a cup of macaroni and cheese, you just don't want to put some ice cubes in it for the kids. And just like let it melt in there and then add the cheese in. Does anybody else think the cheese packets are like some of the best cheeses in the world? Like this is real cheese. So you got the ice cubes in there and then you add your cheese. And then you just lick the rest. So this is for a nine month old. So we're going to give it a nice stir. Make sure that it's good. There you go. You just dump it on there and it'll just, uh, no sense even putting it on a plate. He just grabs it, eats it, makes a whole mess. It's okay. <laughs> See, he just grabs it and eats it. Good boy. You want the fork? He lived kind of near medieval times and you know how they eat with their hands? Well, I'm just practicing so he can get, you know, the full experience when he goes to medieval times when he gets older. Okay, so meanwhile at Joey's Copy Station, this looks done. So you're just gonna wanna make sure you turn off the copy maker when you're done with it. Then you're gonna wanna put it in your fridge. The toughest spot is finding a spot for it, essentially. And, uh, you don't want it touching anything, cause it's still hot. It's just gonna sit right there all night long. And when I wake up in the morning, I grab it. I grab my creamer, put it in there. I don't have to worry about fussing with any hot coffee. It is like instant. 
Why don't you have three kids, y'all? There ain't no wait. I ain't got time to be waiting around the coffee pot for coffee. It's 704. Has anybody else had imitation crab before? I've been craving this. Sam just bought it. I hope it's not for a recipe. We're just gonna take a chance and dip some of this imitation crab on this Parmesan garlic sauce. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but we'll see. I'm just gonna dip it right here. What? Man, that's fire. Holy moly. All right, let's get you out. Hey, y'all good? Oh, come here, sugar plum. So anytime baby Joey is done eating, I bring the high chair out here, and this is how we clean it. And then Hugo will just eat whatever's in the grass. And then you just grab a little all-purpose spray and spray it around. What's everybody's favorite part of the day? I mean, I don't know. 7 p.m. is kind of nice, but this is when the mosquitoes come out, so they're all flying in the house. 7.22, the kitchen is a hot mess. I'm gonna just go lay on the couch with the kids, spend some time with them before we get them ready for bed. Okay, so it's 7.31, the baby is ready for bed. I'm gonna get a bottle working for him. So this is a bag of breast milk, and it's above the six ounce line. But you know how sometimes these can be deceiving. It's not really six ounces once it's all melted. So let's go check it out. If you're curious on dethawing breast milk, you just put it in a little bowl, put it in here, find some space in your sink, and run it on some like hottish water. So by the time I get him ready in his pajamas and stuff, then it'll be bottle time. 7.43, little Joey is ready for bed. He's been cleaned off. He's got his sleep sack. Let's get his bottle or turn off the water. Looks like it's good. And it actually ended up being just under six ounces. So we're gonna do the patented, check the dishwasher. Of course it's full. It is clean. And we're gonna attempt to pour the bag into the cup. Is anybody else's children just so picky about the temperature of the breast milk? Like little Joey likes the temperature like when it's coming right out the tap. In case you're wondering, we use these Como Tomos. He has always liked them and so has the other kids. I don't know. There is no, you know how everybody says they found the best bottle. It just works for our kids. We'll try them, try them. I mean, we'll see. Then the hardest part is holding him and tightening it because he's trying to grab it. Okay. Girls, I'm gonna put little Joey down. Y'all okay? Okay. For me, this is kind of like the time where the girls can decompress. Like my six-year-old just started school, so she's been busy all day. Plus, we were out running errands later. So if they want to chill and watch the TV while I put him down or what, you know, while they're eating, I'm all about that. It is eight o'clock. Let's get our pajamas on. We can read a book. Can I play with your Play-Doh? I will play for 10, 15 minutes. All right, it's 8, 12. I'm grabbing some pajamas for the kids. And I do not know if I'm gonna have the motivation to clean. Usually it's like, you know, when Sam is on her way home, I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna get the house nice and clean. But it has been such a long day. And you know what? That's okay. If we get to cleaning, we get to cleaning. And you know, cleaning is never a requirement. Oh, girls, let's pick out a book. Okay, come on. It's 8.23. We're about to start book time. But before bed, the kids like to have a glass of milk. Does anybody else's kid like some milk? And for bonus points, does anybody drink warm milk before you go to bed? I remember that. Happy Gilmore quote where it's like, I would like a cup of glass of warm milk. It has to put to sleep. And you can go for a glass of champagne. Huh? <laughs> I love that movie. So in case you're wondering, these are the Tommy Tippy cups that my kids drink for milks. We like them. Everything is not easy. I have a surprise for you. Yay, what is it? So it is 9, 12. Sam should be home in a little bit. I am exhausted, but I just have a smidge of motivation to get this house a little clean. But when I don't want to do like a whole clean, I do my 10 foot rule and I get like the first 10 feet of the living room clean. So that way when Sam gets home, 
first impression, oh my God, it's a clean house. But what I'm gonna do is just pile everything right here on the dining room table and we'll just go from there. And if I don't get to all of it, that's okay. I don't have that full like go steam ahead, clean kind of energy going right now. So kind of clean living room, pile everything onto the dining room table. That way, you know, it still looks kind of clean, right? For the living room, let's just get the pillows and blankets back onto the couch. And we're just gonna toss all of the laundry over here. So you're kind of doing piles within the piles. Basically my rule is, is that when the stuff is taken off of the floor, it's so much easier to clean. That's why I like doing like piles. And then we got a pile for dishes right here. Anybody else got more books than the library at their house? And then a trash pile over here. And also too, if you have one of these play bins and you're doing like a whole house reset, you can just jam everything into here and make the ultimate pile. And just kind of move it around the house, it's perfect. So we'll shut this. We have our laundry pile right here. We've got our books, which since the books are already like right here, we can just put them back. This is how I know I'm growing up. I'm getting the Costco catalogs in the mail. So we throw our trash out and grab our dishes. Then we got this little kitchen area that we'll just clean up. Tighten up doesn't need to be perfect. When in doubt, just throw everything in a basket. So it's 921. That only took like a minute or two and the living room is looking good. So as soon as she comes home, She'll come right in and I could sweep and I could do all the vacuuming and stuff. But you know what? The nice thing about owning a house and just being a parent and a human being, you can always do it tomorrow. So over here, we're going to take all of this and put it right here on this table. And this is the crafting table. I cannot tell you how many times I've sanded this thing. I think everybody should just have a table or somewhere in their house where the kids can just destroy it. There's something about like when there's nothing on the floor. It just feels like a clean house. And did anybody else used to eat Play-Doh as a kid? I just used to love how crunchy and salty it was. I would eat some now, but I'm full. So the living room's clean. The art area is clean. And then the dining room table has all of the stuff on it, our big pile. So let's go ahead and look in the kitchen, if you can see it, right up there and put that all right here, whatever's on the countertop. We're in the kitchen. I have 50,000 hair ties because we just need hair ties. So anything that's like not trash or dishes, that all goes right to the dining room table. And then when you find more laundry, what I do is I throw it right there by the garage uh, because that's where our laundry room is. This is like the hardest area to keep clean. This is content creator stuff chargers, uh, tchotchkes, Tylenol, uh, makeup, coins, uh, uh, screws, a, a little syringe thing for medication, a candle, a hair tie, a lint roller. It's just like, <laughs> it's a catch-all, right? Isn't that what it looks like? But, but the goal tonight is to just have everything kind of off the floor and off of the surfaces and just put right into the dining room table. A lot of times in the house, there is usually an all-purpose spray laying around somewhere. In fact, I have two of them, purple and green. I'm like, I'm gonna mix both of them. Usually, if you want to wipe down your counters, you can do it with a number of things. A paper towel, microfiber, even dryer lint. A dryer lint makes for a good sponge if you just want to wipe down some surfaces. Only in my house, the leaf blower would just be sitting on top of the microwave. And then you just slide your microwave right into your microwave. And in case you're wondering about the bedtime routine, the kids usually fall asleep in our bed and then like later in the night, we just bring them upstairs into their room. It's kind of like a thing of ours where we just snuggle and read and watch TV in the bed and then we just bring them up. I'm the kind of person that like, as soon as I start cleaning, I get more and more motivated to clean. It's hard for me and probably a lot of you to get that like initial motivation to start it's 9 32 we got everything piled onto the dining room table that way like tomorrow i can just pick off of it because i'm a picker i pick up my food i'll pick up what needs to be put away so now that everything's off the floor all the surfaces are clean the living room is clean i'm gonna just run it through with a mop let's hope hugo doesn't come after me
But here's the pile for today. That's not too bad. So whenever I'm done cleaning, I like to do a little bit of a room spray. I don't know if this was cleaning. It was more like straightening up and moving things and wiping a few things down. But if you put the room spray on the door, or if you want to really chance it, you put it on the outside of the door. That way, like when they're walking up to door the door to open it, they can smell something good. Okay, so here's what the house looks like. Dining room, and then we we'll walk all the way over to the living room. Yes, we have a gigantic pile of things, but that's okay. Everything is condensed into one area and the kitchen is looking good. Everything is off of the counter. So it's 9.36, the camera is actually about to run out of battery. So right now, Hugo and I will chill for a little bit until Sam gets home. The kids are asleep, little baby has been sleeping. We're gonna manifest that he sleeps all night long. I got some water and I do have some administrative stuff if you wanna call that to do. I got a do some like editing and things of that nature. I gotta post some stuff on some other platforms. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And this is gonna sound weird without my wife, but if you made it this far, Hugo, you're a real one. <laughs>